Hey everybody, call me Felix and we're diving for the freshest sea urchin we've had off Panglao Island in Bohol. And this was a totally unplanned stop after our thrilling dolphin watching and snorkeling adventures earlier that morning. When we stayed in Bohol for around 11 days, our home base was the Bohol Beach Club, or locally known as BBC, one of the best beachside luxury resorts on Panglao Island, and we surely recommend it. One of BBC's advantages is the private chartered excursions for island hopping, dolphin watching, and snorkeling. You don't need a van to pick you and your crew up to take you to the port, but rather the boat is ready for you right at BBC's beach doorstep. That convenience does not come cheap, as we paid about 15,000 pesos or 300 US dollars for our private charter. We started our day really early, as in 7.30 a.m. early, to go dolphin watching, as it's common at this time and place to find dolphins migrating in droves, but this can be a hit or miss thing. We were super lucky that we spotted a number of dolphins. After that, we headed for Balikasag Island, or specifically, the marine sanctuary off Balikasag Island. It was here we snorkeled with sea turtles and many colorful fish before feasting on our lunch. Typically, the last stop of the excursion involves a stop by Virgin Island, a sandbar where seafood merchants are showing off their freshest catches, usually sea urchins which are plentiful around Bohol waters and even mantis shrimp. I was bummed we couldn't take our private vessel to Virgin Island as the waters around it are too shallow for this boat to dock. We cheered up, however, when the crew volunteered to free dive for sea urchins and for 15,000 pesos, it's nice to squeeze additional value from this privately chartered tour. The crew docked in a specific spot where sea urchins are aplenty and one brave soul dove for about 15 minutes for a dozen sea urchins. The week before, we picnicked on sea urchins in El Nido. How did these super fresh, freely caught sea urchins in Bohol compare? Well, keep watching to find out. Yeah. All right, so we asked for sea urchins. And we're here in the middle of the water, not far from Panglao at all. And this is our guide who's going to double up. What's your name, Kuya? Joel. Joel! Okay, so Joel's going to hunt. Can I? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Whee! So he's gonna hunt for how many sea urchins are you gonna get? He said ten, right? Oh boy. Okay, so sea urchin here in Bohol is especially a um, big sea delicacy here. Yeah, no kidding. Like dolphins. The yeah, world. they're as amazing as the dolphins we saw this morning. There you go. Wow. Holy shnikes. Let's see if I can catch him. He's just right. The pontoon is. Well, it's been. Well, it's been like 15 minutes. I don't think he got anything. Not one. He said he could get 10. But not one so far. Oh, there he goes. Down in the deep again. Down in the deep again. And nope. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. It doesn't look like he got anything. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, he's got a. Whoa, whoa. He's got a bunch. Holy shnikes. They look like freaking porcupines. Holy oh shnikes! Where's when I said he didn't get anything? Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh my god! How fast Look is at that! that. Awesome job! <laughs> Those are some crazy looking sea urchins. Mm. Likes of which I haven't seen. Look at that! They're like um, hedgehogs. Sonic the Hedgehog is in that mix somewhere. Oh wow! That's amazing. Ooh, fresh. fresh sea urchins. Unplanned sea urchins. Oh my goodness. The bet those are the best sea urchins by the way, I think the taste is unplanned sea urchins. So what's he doing now with them? Is he just getting rid of all the um like sand? Or the residual um Silicon. <laughs> oh, no, he's getting rid of all the spines. He's getting rid of the spines. Oh, so oh! that's how they get rid of the spines. Wow, so that's how they get rid of the spines. Wow, that's kind of a violent process from the, oh, no. from the 
perspective of a sea urchin, this is quite violent. This is like a good bludgeoning. What the? Crazy. Imagine, like, this is like when you, when you expose slugs to salt. They just dissipate in that net. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. It's kind of sad. And they don't have those spines anymore because they look kind of... They look really cool. Wow. They look like Ben's braids. <laughs> Just shorter. So they're dead now. What happened, Kuya? Did a few spikes get on you? It's like the spike dust has like gotten to them in their slippers. That's nuts. I can't even get up the boat and then keep my bread in it. Ah! No kidding. Ooh. Buhay Wow, they're all alive. They're all alive. Even though, even though you take the spikes off, they're still alive for now until you... Uh, yeah. Carve into them. There you go. Well, they have like beautiful starfish patterns on them when you get rid of those spikes. Look on your face, he's like, you go first. Tabasco, no, do it fresh. Let's see what it tastes like before you put all the condiments on there. Let's try one super fresh. It just came out a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago, this was on its reef. Minding its own business before we came along. Uh, okay, so are you gonna eat that? Are we gonna have like a like a, a, a like a toothpick or something? A toothpick? No, no, no. Is it like an oyster? Where you just gonna... yeah. okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow, what is this? It looks like blood. Yeah, is that supposed to be cleaner than that, Kuya? Yes. So we have to like wash it first again. That looks like sea urchin. Can blood. I have a another cup? That's true. Stuff. Yep. So we gotta wash the blood off the thing, right? I think so. I didn't know that there was blood. Yeah. But you take those off, right? So what's the red fluid again? That's blood? No. No? The eye? The eye? Oh. Wow. wow, very, very uh, clean now. No, but you know, it's not even It's just the meat now. It's just the... It's just the gonads. <laughs> just the gonads, that's right. Okay, we got all that out of one. All that out of one. Do you mean to say... You got all that orange juice from all the bag of orange juice. Okay, there you go. Okay. For you to taste. 
tear it up. Okay. Sorry. Let's try it first. One sea urchin, it looks nice and clean. Not much of that red fluid that looks like blood. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Is it had a perfume taste? Yeah. But what? not so bad. It's like, um... I going to get more of the nuttiness later. Mm. It's less irony. It's less irony. Um, at first you get a little bit of the salty grit, I think. There's like a little bit of grit. Kind of like a sand... <laughs> sandy kind of flavor. But then it starts to get more perf a little bit perfumey and sweet. It starts to get a little more nutty later. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Finish is more nutty. More nutty and milky. So has a perfume taste. Yeah, it does have a perfume taste. But it's not... I bet you it is good with suka. You should try with Tabasco. I think... I think the vinegar would be, I think the coconut vinegar would be better. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I think the Tabasco would be a little overwhelming, but I think it's good. Because this is fresh here, Chin. Um, um, it's not, um, okay, let's say you get uni from a sushi restaurant, right? Yeah. It doesn't look perfect like that. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's gushing with meat and flavor. So this tastes more perfumey and then finishes nutty and milky. Not so much nutty, just more of um, milky. But compared to those spoiled ones, or those ones we <laughs> spoiled ones, I think compared to those that we had in um, El Nido on our last day by the waterfall, these are definitely fresher. Um, and they're a lot less livery tasting. What do you, so what do you think, JP, about all this? Um, it's fresh. I mean, an improvement. It's an improvement from before. So I guess this solved our theory, right? That they're not all orange. Mm -hmm. Or not because all. This, this looked exactly the same as what we got. Yes. Right. Yes. It's not too salty. It's not that nutty. Definitely has a milky, milky and nutty, but more milky than nutty, like two to one as far as the finish, I would say. That's my approximation. Um, but yeah. Definitely like these. They're not all that. Uh, uh. But I think if you let it like sit for a day like we did, it's a lot more irony livery. This is more eh, nutty and a little bit milky. That's it. All right. We're going to eat more of this. And then if there's something that changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, we are out here marooned in the middle of the Bohol Sea. Yeah. Not far from civilization. There we go. You want to try it, Warren? Okay. So I did say that if anything changed with our sea urchins, as far as the taste goes, I'll get back to you. So, JP always loves putting Tabasco on things, as you know. And he says, as long as you clean it well, it's less perfumey and less gritty. And you put Tabasco, it starts tasting like an oyster. Yes. Let me see if I can vouch for that too. So he, JP, is uh, right now very scrupulous in cleaning that sea urchin, setting it up for that Tabasco, and hopefully that we get a briny oyster and I think that's my what it's gonna taste like it's still hard at work with our 10 I don't know I think 10 or a dozen sea urchins yeah a dozen a dozen sea urchins yes and yeah these are the freshest this is by far the freshest because we've seen it with our own eyes um but this experience has kind of opened our eyes to the taste of sea urchins, right? Yeah, this is, yeah. 
if you're at a top flight Japanese restaurant, or maybe not even a top flight one. They're super orange. They're or super yeah. yellow. Orange, creamy, nutty, sweet. That's what you expect, right? But really, this one tastes like salty, gritty, and milky. So, the good news is it doesn't taste as irony as the ones that we had in Palawan. But that was because, again... We don't think it's as fresh. Because, yeah. They're very, very delicate. So after one day, they start tasting more irony. So I think that's what we're thinking of. Based on our, our experiences the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Trying sea urchins, yeah. Okay. So wait, here it is. Let me get some Tabasco sauce. Yep, the magical elixir. The magical elixir. They say it tastes like uh, oyster. I cannot wait. I'm gonna wait for the Tabasco. It's the way we eat oyster. Ooh. Okay, how do you do it? So how do you do it? Okay. And then you that's it. Straight from the shell. Wow. That's it. Does it taste any different? It's tastier, sir. It's tastier like that. Yeah, we've been. We've been oh my God. Okay. So just, okay, so we're gonna do our way first with the Tabasco. Yeah. Let's do, uh, I like that. You know. But from the shell, it makes a difference. But you're supposed yeah. to put. You're gonna put. You're supposed to put coconut. So but I'm supposed to put. But well, we don't have any coconut. So what do you want to do with this? Honest. You want to shoot it, or you just want to just shoot it? After we let's just. Yeah, I just. I'll just uh, shoot it. Hmm. Oh my. Right. Mmm. Doesn't it make a whole big old difference? Oh man. You right? could have fooled me into thinking that's oyster. Yeah, right? It's all creamy mm. and. It's creamy. That salty, that overly salty flavor is just taken away from the Tabasco with the spice. Yeah. It's good, it right? just tastes like oyster flesh. Yeah. Like really clean oyster flesh. So the saltiness removed. It does. Finish milky, but the spice kind of alleviates everything. I think Warren should try it. I think Warren should try it. Yeah, but, but put some Tabasco in it, so... Yeah, I mean, I it, 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 the acid cleans it more, you know? And, you know the it's not unsanitary. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, Warren doesn't like raw oysters in uni, as we found out throughout our travel so far. So, let's see if we can change his tune on sea urchin if it can taste like a bit of oyster <laughs> you don't even like oyster but i promise you that it tastes really good but then again you don't like oysters whereas jp and i love oysters, I love oysters. oh gosh yeah i could use another oyster myself you want another one yeah definitely Here. but i want to get warren's mainly his reaction yeah. With that shooter. Not bad, right? Yeah, with that Tabasco. Yeah? But it tastes like oyster. How can you say it's better than oyster? Because he likes it, it tastes better probably than oyster. Because I think because of the saltiness has been eliminated by the Tabasco. Um, I think that's because of that. I like it. I like it. I really love it with the Tabasco. It really tastes like oyster. Yeah. Hey, your last. You have from Polutan. Yeah. That's your last. Um, here. Oh, that's the last one? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Out of the dozen that we had, this is it? That's how small they are, yeah. So, when they got them out of the water, we thought, oh, these are fat sea urchins, right? Yeah. Once they shook them off the spines, it then shrunk in size, big time. So, this one last uni shot with Tabasco is for you, in tribute to Sonic the Hedgehog. In tribute to Sonic the Hedgehog. There we are. Mm. Delicious. Right? Mm. Good stuff. We just found found the secret recipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would dig this more than the coconut vinegar. So yeah. we don't have any more 
uni <laughs> to try on dry land with coconut vinegar. No more. Can we no. buy uni in the uh, no? Uh, may nabibenta po sa ano sa market. Sa market pero ano, na tanggal na. Oh. They have the market already clean. Oh, good. Really? So maybe yeah. we should try doing that. Yeah, maybe we can ask Chris. Yung ganun sir, madalang lang yun sir. Yung nakukuha niya talaga yung mismo yung swapi. Really? Yung nakikita niya sir, so, ano, yung nahawakan. Oo. Uh -huh. Yun yung tinatanggal nila. Yung swapi talaga. Uh -huh. Yung kinain natin kanina is uh -huh. tuyom yun, tuyom. Tuyom? Tuyom. Tuyom. What's that mean? Tuyom. It's a different species of sea urchin that we ate? O M. Iba siyang species? Sea urchin ganun dyan. But anong difference dun sa market? Mr. Sagi? Yun yung swake talaga. O orange talaga yung orange. Oh, that's what we want. Orange, yellow. That's the one we want. That's the one we want. So the ri- Oh, so this is a different. So where's the market? Nasa Gilaran. Nagularan? Nagularan? Nani Panglao. Nani Panglao. And then kailan pwede namin bilhin? Umaga? Umaga. Wala kang sa hapon. Meron sa hapon sir, pero depende sa low tide. Low tide lang na kukuha yun dyan. So, what's today? Do we have an opportunity to get some today? Gano? Wala nagbibenta kaya na yun? Meron sir. Ha? Meron? Meron. Let's go ask Chris. Okay. To make a run for us. Okay. To make a swake run. Okay. Then we have to ask for the Tabasco sauce. Well, JP, you can stow it away. Well, actually, that's, this is the restaurant. Yeah, so this is BBC's right? Tabasco. Yeah, BBC's Tabasco, they'll let us borrow it. Yeah. You can find it. Whew. So, yeah. I think we... Thank you guys for yeah. hosting us and making that swim, that dangerous swim down there. Yeah. This was unplanned, everybody. This was not part of the tour. So they did us a good solid. Solid, yeah. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah. Especially to Kuya Joel, Kuya who Joel. actually did all the work. The guy yeah. in the gray shirt over there. <laughs> they all did because. Uh, well, they all did, yeah. Chef cooked it. I chef uh, cleaned it. Yes, chef indeed cleaned it for us. Brought us here, so. Yep. Cumulative effect. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, we're set for dry land, everybody. Hopefully, we get some real swake. Yes. Because these are the sea urchins that are different. They're not called swake. But there you go. Now well, we learned our lesson, right? We learned our lesson that we have eight is just whatever sweet urchin that's called by another name yeah. that's walking okay okay good. off to dry land everybody on our next bohol food trip adventure we have yet another pizza episode you can never get enough pizza reviews can you the challenger to our self-proclaimed best pizza in the philippines bella vita in el nido is a pizzeria near touristy alona beach started up by two italian brothers toto e pepino the restaurant of their namesake. Based on their heritage and kitchen, this looked like some real deal pizza that could give Bella Vita a run for its money. Did we find a worthy contender indeed for the best pizza we've tasted in the Philippines? All that and more on our next stop on our Bohol food trip. And so, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. And better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures to come. Until the next time, keep cool, but care, and remember, the empire never ended.